Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So I was just using Windows as I normally do. And then we just got a recent big update where Microsoft is now basically pushing out their brand new Edge browser or in some cases forcing people to use it if they're not aware of what's going on. And I thought everything was cool until I noticed that my volume was not working on my computer. And so I tried to use their volume troubleshooting and as it was detecting the problems, it found an issue as you see here in a moment. And it says one or more audio devices isn't running. And so when I look at the details, it tells me the Windows Audio and Windows Audio Endpoint services aren't running. And so great. I really have no idea what that means. And then this reminds me of why I absolutely hate Windows. Now, if you're wondering, hey, I hate Windows, why don't I move over to something else like Apple Mac or maybe Linux? Well, the thing is, I have. I've been using Linux for about 11 years now, and Linux Mint has been the primary operating system that I've been using for about eight years now and so that is something that I have been using as my primary operating system and I've been using Windows in a virtual machine since then however unfortunately the reality is a lot of all the software and driver support is still in Microsoft Windows and so that's why I had to use Windows 10 and in terms of Apple Mac yeah I'm not gonna head over there anytime soon and so I had to do some troubleshooting. So let's go ahead and see what my four to five hours of troubleshooting actually got me to fix this audio issue. And so the first thing that I decided to do was go into my system settings to make sure everything's working. And the first thing I saw here was that the Windows audio services aren't running, which I already knew. And then looking over here at these other settings, I really didn't know what I was looking for. It didn't seem like there were any issues, at least from here. So I didn't really know at this point what the next step was. And so obviously with any type of troubleshooting problems, I'm going to have to dig a little bit further. And then next up, I went into the device manager to make sure that all my devices are here for my audio. And so I went ahead and checked each one of these devices by looking at the properties. It's saying the device is working correctly and I even updated some of these drivers as well to make sure they're working and everything at least here looks like it was working and so I had to go back and do some research as well because I didn't have a clue of what might be the problem so I went into the services menu and here you can actually see all the services that are running within Windows and I learned that there are some certain services that you need to make sure are running. And so the first and most important one is the Windows Audio. And in this case, I tried to restart it, as you can see right here. And when I press start, this is the error that I got. Some random error. And this reminds me so much of the blue screen of death or memory error issues. And so once again, I had to go back and do some more research. So after some further digging, I found out that maybe it has to do with the properties. So I went into the properties, went to the login tab and chose local system account. And then I applied that. Now, if you look to the bottom right, my volume icon currently has a red X over it, which means that it isn't working. But once I applied these new login changes, I then restarted the service. And thankfully, I didn't get the same error that I did before. And I could even adjust the volume settings now and raise the volume up and down. But that still didn't fix the audio problem because there was still no sound coming out from my speakers or through my headphones. And so the next step involved using RegEdit or Registry Editor, which is something that I definitely do not enjoy doing. So you go to H key local machine, go down to system. And then you look for this thing called current control set. And from here, you're going to go into services and you're going to look for something called audio SRV. 
which I'm guessing stands for audio services. And then you're going to right click on your mouse and go to permissions. And then from here, you're going to go to add. And then you're going to go to advanced. And on this window, there's going to be a button on the right called find now. And what you're going to look for is system. So once you found system, click on OK and then click on OK again. And you want to make sure system has full control and read under allow permissions and say OK. And then you can do the same thing again. So right click, go to permissions and then go to add. And then you're going to go to the advanced find now. But this time you're going to look for administrator. You're going to say OK, say OK again and do the same thing. Make sure you have full control and read and then restart your computer. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so now after restarting my machine, I went to my volume icon. Everything looks like it's okay. But now let's go ahead and do the troubleshooting again for the sound system to make sure that everything's working as it should. And at this point, after all this work, it should be fixed. At least I'm hoping. But unfortunately, no. It says audio services not responding. Great. So now I have a brand new error. And after all of that research that I did, trying all these different fixes, it still didn't work. So at this point, I'm like, okay, let me just do one last check. Let me go back into my services. And so in this case, I'm going to make sure that the services that need to be running are running. So I first check the Windows Audio Services. And there's also the Windows Audio Endpoint. They are both running as they should. And then I'm also going to look at some remote procedure call services, which are running as well. There is an RPC local. And there's also another RPC call as well. And then finally, there's a DCOM service. And so all of these things that I learned should be running are running. And still, I have no audio. So now at this point, let me go ahead and just do a system restore because I've tried everything that I know of and everything that I've researched. And at this point, I spent like four to almost five hours trying to fix this. And so I'm pretty frustrated and actually really mad that this whole update broke my system. And so I'm going to go to a restore point that hopefully will work. So this restore point was on July 20th. So I'm going to go ahead and restore my system from this point. And crossing my fingers, I hope my audio is working because I don't want to do a fresh install of Windows and then find out after another update that things are still broken once again. So as you can see here, Windows is restoring the registry and everything else prior to the updates. And so now is the final moment of truth. Did this restore actually fix my system after the horrible Windows 10 update broke my system? So I'm going to go ahead and go into YouTube to check out the audio. And already when I open up OBS, I could tell things are looking really good because this time it recognized my microphone, whereas before it didn't. And now I'm going to head over to my channel to check out the audio coming out from my computer itself. So, all right, things are already looking much better. And now I could see audio coming out from my computer and it shows up in OBS as well. So thankfully, my audio is now back. And I am now back to normal in terms of my audio, but I'm still really angry that this happened. And so the final step I'm going to take is I'm going to go to my system settings, go to updating security, and I'm going to pause Windows updates to the max, which is currently 35 days. But unfortunately, this is going to break again at some point. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave down in the comments area below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, 
then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.